I feel my story is still untold. But I'll make my own happy ending. I think it's better to be alone than making do and mending. I think maybe I've outgrown this old town. I see you almost every day. And every time I turn around, our love is stuck on replay, replay, replay. Ever since we broke up, I've been afraid to go out. But I won't be a prisoner, yes. locked up in this house. I feel my story is still untold. Yeah, I'll make my own happy ending. But I'd rather be alone. I saw was you at the Roundhouse in March. How yes. was that for you? Because that was your last gig, wasn't it? Before all this. Yeah, it was kind of well. It all went by in a big blur. Uh, we, I was like a bullet from a gun that night. Really, I had a lot of energy. And um, recently, I saw some footage of myself at that gig getting into the crowd. And as I was getting into the crowd, I took off my gloves, threw the gloves away, so that I could kind of hold on to people's hands and stuff. And it feels like a lost era or something, you know. 
it's kind of quite sad to to see that. And what what happened after that over the last few months? What, well, like? so then we went straight into lockdown, and um, I just sort of drove myself into writing, and I had a lot, of, still a lot to do for this album. Actually, in the last few months, we started thinking about making this this album ten years ago, and we put out a few tracks here and there, and drip drop, and so on, and then eventually Parrot put out Incapable last year and everybody went mad for it and we got signed and we'd, we'd, it's about seven months since we were signed for an album deal and so we had to kind of get come up with an album quite quickly which was fine because we already had the concept you know and I did some performance films from my home where I kind of performed live to live vocal to track and created kind of visual environment in my house. Lockdown. I need to escape, innit? So you've got a little, a little studio set up. Yeah, we have a room and, and everything kind of came from there. And everybody, everything still is, actually. Everything is really um, a cottage industry. It's all happening at home. Most of the interviews happen at home, podcasts, um, listening parties, and everything's kind of folded into that into that one room, which has become my sanctuary. I've always been someone when there's when there's some issue or whatever, will kind of run into being creative to get away from it. And um, I definitely have done that in spades. Well, that I think people are going to really enjoy this record. It's meant to work at different volumes, this yeah. record. And so the record works at different levels, you know. Um, it holds up in different environments. And you can dance whenever you bloody like, you know, still. Nobody's stopping us dancing. What I'm doing Never had a broken heart I don't know If I can love In all honesty I don't know If that's what I'm feeling Never see me fall apart When I never Grown cold is horrible weather. It's gone stone cold, and you know that we should have got it together. Well, it's nice, it's nice to be a warm day. I want to, want you to, and never be frightened. Never had a broken heart, never seen me fall apart. Haven't got a broken dream, not that into crazy scenes. Don't know where I get the strength, and I'll go out of my head. I'm not even out of breath, I could go forever, yeah. Never had a broken heart Yet I'm unavailable for 
never had a broken heart Though I don't know what it means You might never get to make out A connection never see me fall apart If I don't learn how Never had a broken heart, never seen me fall apart Haven't got a broken dream, not that into crazy scenes Don't know where I get the strength, and I go out of my head I'm not even out of breath, I could go forever, yeah This album is made with DJ Parrot, who's one of my oldest kind of musical friends, someone I met when I first came to Sheffield, who was already a very established producer and um, great DJ, although he stopped DJing. My education in Sheffield, when I got there at 19, you know, these people, people like Parrot and Winston Hazel and Pipes and, and, and many, many more that were just creating a scene. And they were, it was a local scene, it was contained. So it really was um, fortuitous for me to go there at that age, not knowing what I wanted to do, really. Knew I wanted to do something creative. Was obsessed with music and clubs and everything to do with music culture already. Just let's bless it, I'm 40 plus. And I've been all over the world. And I've been to all kinds of nightclubs and I've had fantastic times and I've learned so much and I, I love to go into new spaces and new countries and new cities and see how people dance differently to new kinds of, different kinds of music and it fascinates me and everything but it's still to this day the greatest parties I was ever at were the ones in Sheffield and they were because I was part of it, I was part of a family. Out of that scene comes great record labels, great records, great artists, great artwork, great visuals, great everything, you know. Out of those contained scenes comes the great music. And I think we could do with, with going back to that a little bit. On this record, is the, there is the, the disco. I mean, there's, the, you know, Murphy's Law or something like that. It's very disco. Slower maybe than you expect, because but much a lot of disco was. I mean, they even had slow sets, you know, in clubs years ago. You know, this is the arc of your career. What does this record mean to you? But I do feel like it's nine albums in because <laughs> of Maloco. So each yes. of those albums was a real um, learning curve for me. If you think about me coming into it, just talking nonsense and. Um, saying stuff like, do you like my tight sweater? See how it fits my body or pretending to be a valley girl, and, you know, talking about party weirdos and all these ideas that came to us actually in the middle of the night at a party. And we would go to, as I said, fun studios in the middle of the night and, and put down stupid shit, basically. What would you say to someone that said, <laughs> what is your proudest moment? <laughs> I've had lots of, lots of very proud moments, honestly, because I've had a lot of... Um, peaks and troughs with, with, with my actual career and many times I've been um, close to the scrap heap, let's say. It means a lot, but I think, I think Hairless Toys meant an awful lot because it was made with my literal uh, cosmic brother, you know, Eddie Stevens, who's been my musical director and really uh, drew out of me the true performer that's in me and so on and taught me so much. And the live thing, as you, as you say, and it's been a massive part of my career. Rishi Murphy, thank you so much. Thank you. Give me something more. A crown upon my head, ten lovers in my bed, but I want something more. A billion in the bank, 
titles of higher rank But I want something more A castle deep in Spain More land than Charlemagne And boys, you ease the pain An island out at sea A house of luxury And it's all named after me Maybe these could be the last time I feel the same It's what it's like to want everyone, everything Or maybe this could be the last time I feel the same It's what it is to want everyone Everything Life just keeps me wanting 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 Life just keeps me wanting 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 A crown upon my head Young lovers in my bed But I want something more a private restaurant serving every dish I want But I want something more Maybe this could be the last time I feel the sting It's what it's like to want everyone and everything Maybe this could be the last time What it's like to own everyone and everything I want it all, yes, all the cake I live my life with way regret I put it all at stake And if it all goes up in flames I will only ever have myself to blame I want it all, yes, all the cake I live my life the way I want, I own my mistakes And if it all goes up in flames I will only ever have myself to blame I said to blame, oh, gotta give me something more I want something Give me something, give me something, give me something.